Good evening. It's been three years since the death of an 11 month old Valencia County baby. Now the family says it's still trying to find justice for the little girl. News 13's Gina Nguyen spoke with the family's attorney and tells us why they think new legislation will help. Had uh, 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 dog feces and, and urine throughout the residence. It was December 2017 when Arissa Boreas was found dead inside the home of Stephanie Crownover, her foster parent. OMI said the 11 month old died from pneumonia, which may have been because of the terrible conditions inside the home. The residence was in, in kind of in disarray, uh, it, was, it was dirty. Three years later, Crownover's three counts of child abuse charges were dismissed. The family had no choice but to file a civil lawsuit in hopes of getting justice. Mom is, is really struggling today. Attorney Brian Williams represents Arissa's family and says their quest for closure continues to get delayed because of New Mexico's current laws around qualified immunity that protects certain government officials from lawsuits like this. In this case, Williams says the social workers with CYFD involved in Arissa's case should be responsible. So that it stops all discovery, it stops progress, and it stops closure for the family. That's why Williams is hoping the civil rights bill passes during the upcoming legislative session to possibly negate qualified immunity to the social workers. Stop the delay games, keep us from being three years out and still following, uh, still dealing with the delay games. But the civil rights bill has its critics. It needs to have some limits. We have very small communities, we have small towns, small counties with very little population. Uh, they could not afford a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Senator Steve Neville says he doesn't completely oppose the bill, but wants to be able to fine-tune it. And when it comes to qualified immunity... Qualified immunity is not the big bad wolf that everybody says it is. There have been injustices, and this is one of them. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQE, News 13. As for the lawsuit against the state and CYFD, Williams says a federal judge denied the state's request to have the case dropped, citing qualified immunity. The state has appealed that denial, and now they are waiting for a judge's ruling.